My name is Sarah Circo and I grew up in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. I decided to start education program because I used to coach figure skating, so I'm a dual elementary and special education major. Right now I'm student teaching in a second grade placement here in Oshkosh and I will be there for another five weeks and then I will move on to a special education setting in a middle school in Nina. With preparing for student teaching, I met Erin Romer and she was helping with resume building and she had a professional development seminar about uh, building resumes and she told us about potential teaching out of state, teaching out of country and since I was interested in that, I talked to her about the UNI Overseas Placement Fair in Northern Iowa and I decided that I was just going to go for it because my friends were pushing me to do it as well. They knew I wanted to go overseas. So I decided to talk to Erin and have her help me finish my resume, make sure it was the best resume I could have. Then I went through the process of signing up for the fair and that I had to get all my stuff together in over just a week and a half because there was the deadline. Before I went to the fair, I researched all the schools that I was interested in and I even emailed some of the schools and sent them my resumes and my cover letters and my letters of recommendation to show them that I was interested and to get my name out there so they would potentially want to meet for an interview at the fair. Well, because I had such a short amount of time to prepare for that, I made sure I went over all the interview questions that Erin provided for me and then as well as the interview questions provided on the website. I would just make sure I knew the question and what my answer would be. Everybody who's enrolled at the fair is provided with mail slots where there are little slips of paper provided in there if a school is interested in you, they request an interview, they'll put in a little request slip and they'll give you a pamphlet of their school for you to research beforehand. When I was interviewing with some of the schools, it was a very relaxed interview. There was a conference center that we were at and then it was connected to a hotel, so you would interview with a group of interviewers in the hotel rooms. So you'd be on either side of a desk and you're in their comfy chairs <laughs> in their hotel room. And then the school that I actually accepted a job offer for, when they interviewed me the first time, it went really well and I was still really interested in the school. So I sent them an email that night telling them that I was interested and would like to learn more about the school with them. So then they emailed me back and scheduled a second interview, which ended up being when I got offered the position. The school that I will be at is the American School of Bangkok. There are two different campuses. There's the one right in the city of Bangkok, and then there's the one outside of the city, which I will be attending and be working at. I will be flying over there to Thailand in um, July, middle of July. They provided me with paying for my flight there at the beginning of my contract and paying for my flight home at the end of the contract. It's the in-between that I would pay for if I wanted to travel somewhere on my own. Um, they will be paying for about $350 of my rent every single month and I would just have to pay the difference if there was a difference. The housing is furnished for me already so that will be provided and they will also be providing me with transportation to and from school and they will be providing me with paying for my luggage to come over. A lot of benefits that they've given me, making the decision a lot easier. This is a two-year contract, so I will go, I will leave in the middle of July 2015, and then my contract will be over in 2017, the summer of 2017, and I could potentially renew it or go off to another school as well, whatever I would be feeling at that point in time. Even if you're maybe thinking about it, you're not completely sure, I would say just do it. You're young and you're free and when in your life are you going to be offered this opportunity? It's an amazing opportunity. Just go for it. You're able to and if you do decide to go overseas, make sure you're very well prepared, knowing what to expect at the interviews, preparing with the interview questions, having um, resumes at hand ready to just give out, having letters of recommendation printed off ready to hand out as well. If you're interested, just 
just do it because when in your life are you going to have this opportunity and if not now then when.